My name is Katie Edwards and today I will be discussing the effects that the stigmatism that follows the differently abled in society has on differently abled athletes and their pursuit of enjoying activities that make them happy despite their condition, whether that be physical or mental. So first I'm going to talk on terms of Murder Ball, which was a documentary that followed wheelchair-bound athletes around as they joined a wheelchair rugby or how they ended up playing wheelchair rugby um, post-accident or as a result of overcoming obstacles of their um, physical or mental status. And one of the things that really stuck out to me was the positivity that these people had and the determination that they had to continue doing things that made them happy despite any obstacles that would get in the way. One of these people who really was inspiring to me was Mark Zupan, who is a really well-known wheelchair rugby player. And he suffered injuries and was paralyzed at 18 after falling asleep in the bed of a truck, which ended up um, getting in an accident, which was a really unfortunate situation, um, especially considering he was so young. And one of the quotes that really stuck out to me that he said during the documentary was, I'm just like you, except I'm sitting. And I feel like a very big component of the stigmatism that follows these athletes around is the societal stigmas that follow the differently abled, because I think a lot of times people do not give these people enough credit as to what they're overcoming on a day-to-day -day basis and the obstacles that they may face. And instead, they want to ask questions and kind of be impolite in a really nosy way. And they want to assume that just because people are differently abled, they are not able to do the things that other people do or have the strength to do day-to-day -day tasks without the assistance of someone else. When in reality, a lot of the differently abled people really set their mind to things and want to live a life that they used to live or live as much of a normal life as possible. And they don't mind answering questions as a lot of the athletes in the documentaries mentioned. They would rather have someone ask a question than stare at them awkwardly. And as a person who has not had the pleasure of being around many differently abled people in my lifetime, I really wish that I did have the opportunity to make these people feel um, more comfortable in a sense and feel like they are part of the community even though they may not have the same physical abilities as others do because of the amount of heart that they have and that was another big thing that stuck out to me is the amount of determination and confidence that a lot of these athletes have through their sport that they're able to regain um by playing wheelchair rugby that they may have felt at a loss for because of the stigmatism that a lot of people in society have towards them just because of the way that they may look or the fact that they might be sitting in a wheelchair. Another thing that was really surprising to me was the amount of contact and the brutality of wheelchair um, rugby. I was not expecting expecting these athletes to be so hardcore and a lot of times they really did go at each other but like every other sport they're just expressing their um, level of competitiveness and I thought that it was really inspiring that these athletes are able to come to a place and feel that they are on the same level as everyone that is competing with them or participating in the same activity as a lot of times they are not given that um, confidence and power to be on the same page. And that was something that was really important to me because I feel like as a society, we should make people feel that comfort more often who are differently abled and make them understand that, yes, you may not be capable of the same things as me, or you may have more obstacles in the way of completing a task than I do because I am not differently abled, but that we should all still feel like we are... Um, created equal and given equal opportunity. And I think that wheelchair rugby and other Paralympic and differently abled sport organizations are giving that feeling to people and that that is a really important message that a lot of people overlook. On the topic of people overlooking the injustices and the um, pride that are both included in the sports of Paralympic athletes is that for a very long period of time, there were special and Paralympic 
teams and athletes that were being treated differently um, through their organizations or by other organizations because they were not represented correctly. And I think that through Changing Sports, Changing Lives, I was able to understand the importance of the Americans with Disabilities Act. Obviously, as someone who is not differently abled, I did not have the pleasure of understanding that this act was play, put into um, effect in 1990 and that it helps to improve the setting of sports for those who have to deal with physical or mental impairments and that on top of that many other steps have been taken to benefit these athletes in adaptive sports and I do think that there should be more of a following and a coverage of the world of adaptive sports just because I do think especially as someone who's very interested in um, sports and athletics and obviously wants to go into a career um, related to sports and athletics I think that I have a very low level of knowledge in this area and especially as someone who um, does keep a close eye on sports news I think that the under coverage really does speak volumes because Yes, as of recently, there have been many steps that have been taken in benefit of those who are differently able to and playing sports, but that there is not enough um, media coverage or as enough of a message being given by the leaders in these organizations um, that could benefit society in understanding that the differently abled are just as capable of participating in and absolutely killing it in sports and still being high performing athletes despite any obstacles that may be affecting them either physical physically or mentally so overall I do think that um, one of the main problems that surrounds the stigmatism around the differently abled, um, especially in the sports world, is the undercoverage of this topic and the fact that it's not talked about enough. So I really do think that by implementing maybe in Little League um, the partnership of the normally abled and the differently abled in sports by maybe um, socializing the two groups that especially in the youth we would be able to um, progress in a different way in making things um, very communal and making sports communal especially because that is kind of the point of sports is to bring people together and I think that by potentially merging both um, normally abled and differently abled, even if it's for once a year, um, that that would positively impact the world of sports as well as society. Because uh, another thing that I've learned, especially recently, is that even as adults, we can learn a lot from the kindness of kids. And obviously, someone's kindness has to do with the way that they have been brought up. But I do think that kids are obviously naturally more willing to let someone in and understand a person that they may not know and may not understand their situation, but they're willing to give them more of a chance than a lot of adults do. And I think that that has to do with the way that people treat each other, um, especially growing up. I feel like everybody kind of grows to live a very private life and that kids are just social and able to have a positive relationship with people they may not know. And that I think that we could really benefit from that as a society, especially in the world of sports.